So first, let me introduce you to my rig. I'm using the Canon R7 with an EF to RF adapter and the EF 100-400L Mark II. Fantastic combo. The lens works great on the RF body and the R7 is hard to beat when it comes to aviation because you get that crop sensor. A little bit more perceived range and more pixels on the subject usually. So it comes in really handy for subjects that are far off and you're trying to fill the frame. So let's get started with setting up our camera the easiest way possible for getting these aviation shots, at least in my opinion. First thing we're gonna do is put our camera in shutter priority mode. On Canon, that's gonna be TV. It may be different on Nikon, Fuji, Sony, stuff like that, I'm not sure. So you might have to do a little translating here to fit these instructions into your ecosystem. So shutter priority is the mode we're gonna be shooting in. The next thing we wanna do is set our ISO to auto. So I got an ISO button right here, I'm gonna hit that. And we're gonna make sure that that's on auto, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is set up our metering mode. For this, I like to use center weighted average, so we're gonna to go to our metering mode. And on Canon, it's gonna be all the way to the right over here. It looks like a square with nothing in the middle. That's your center weighted average. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is set an upper ISO limit, because when your camera is doing the metering and adjusting the ISO to expose your shot, you don't want it getting so high that you get a lot of noise in your final image. It's just a pain to work with and it'll ruin your photo. So we're gonna go ahead and set an upper limit for that. To do this on the Canon, we're gonna to go to menu, and on your second camera menu, you're gonna go down to ISO speed settings and auto range. And I like to set my maximum on the R7 to 3200. That's the most I'm comfortable with being able to work with the noise without you know, the image getting too degraded. Now with these camera settings, the only thing you have to worry about is the shutter speed, which is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned when you're out shooting, because that's the main thing you're gonna be changing to get the different looks and the shots you're going for. For example, the Blue Angels, when you're shooting diamond formation and the planes are going the same speed, you can keep the shutter speed around 1 1,000th because you're still gonna get it sharp. You ain't gotta worry about a lot of motion blur in your shots. And the ISO is gonna stay low without getting a lot of noise in your shot, which you don't want. For crossing maneuvers like this, you're gonna wanna jack the speed up a little faster if you wanna get both planes sharp. Now, sometimes it's cool to get one plane that you're tracking into the cross sharp and the back one be blurry. If that's the case, go with a slower shutter speed. Another time when you could use a slow shutter is for prop planes, like Fat Albert, for instance, with the Blue Angels or any other stunt planes. You can shoot with shutter speeds around 1 1 60th, I think, somewhere on there, 1 1 20th and slower because you want to blur the prop. You see a lot of pictures and a lot of people just starting out, they're shooting at the high speeds and the prop is frozen. It, it just takes the character out of the shot. You want that motion in the prop. It makes the photos just so much, mm, so much better looking. It takes a lot of practice and you're gonna have more bad shots when you're doing this, but you only need one good one. Just remember that. Doesn't matter if you have 15 bad blurry shots in one pan when you're trying to get the prop plane, as long as you get that one, it's not gonna matter. That's the only one that matters. And the more you practice, the more you're gonna start hitting them like anything else. You're gonna get really good at it. Try these settings out. If they work for you, let me know. If there's anything that you would do differently or that you have that works for you, let me know. I'm always trying to learn as well. I hope this video helped you out. If so, hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. I plan on doing a lot more of this stuff in the future, so y'all come hang out with me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.